a very good morning today the topic that we'll be discussing is related to convolutional neural network that is cnn now what this word convolution means is convolution means complexity convolution means sophistication so cnn is basically a type of ann which is a bit complex now why we say that this is complex because it deals with image data that is why we are saying that this is complex in image there is a lot of data and when there is lot of data then processing takes time so that is why we said that this is a bit complex so coming to the definition of cnn cnn is a type of artificial neural network that specializes in processing data that has grid like topology and grid like topology exist in images that is why cnn deals with images uh, then is we'll be seeing that how cnn can be implemented practically by using a software that is orange so what you need to do is you need to go to google and you search for certain cat images here so i had searched for cat images and i downloaded all these images there are 10 images and i had renamed these images from 1 to 10 and all these images are put in a folder that is a cat folder similarly i had searched for dog images from google and i could find out a number of images so i renamed the images from 11 to 20 and then i had put these images in another folder that is dog and together these two folders cat and dog these are put in a folder that is called as animals now we'll see that how we can classify these images by using a software that is called as orange now what exactly this orange software is orange software is a zero code software that means you don't need to write even a single piece of code here just there are certain widgets that are there you need to drag the things you need to put certain elements and you can see the output of the classification or any other algorithm that is a part of machine learning so here the first widget that i had taken is import images now in this import images i'll put the path of my animals folder and i'll select this folder after selecting the folder the second widget that i had taken is image viewer now i need to see that uh, uh, what what images are being imported so for that i had taken a widget that is called as image viewer now i need to make a link between import images and image viewer so how i'll do that i'll make a path from import images to image viewer and automatically the word data will be written on this path when you double click on this image viewer you will find out that all the images are there that is 10 images of cat you can see here and 10 images of dog you can see then is the next widget that i had dragged from the left menu is a data table again i need to make a path so you arrange the path and when you double click on data table there are certain statistics that are found out that is you can see that category name of the image type of the image that it is a jpeg jpeg image similarly other type of images can also be taken png and other images size of the image width height a certain statistics related to images are observed or are achieved here then is the third is image embedding now this particular widget is quite important here we have a number of deep learning models so you arrange the path from import images to image viewing image embedding and it will start executing initially it will be 0% and then it will be 100% after the 100% the tag of 100% will be removed 
when you click on this you can find out that there are a number of embedders that is written d pelluc inception v3 squeeze net vgg16 vgg19 patents painters and open face so what are these these are all the deep learning models that are there so we are using an existing deep learning model and then we have our own model also so what this image embedding will do is this Im image embedding will create a number of feature vectors like in data table we had seen a number of statistics uh, where size width and uh, image name and image type was there now in image embedding there will be feature vectors a number of feature vectors will be there uh, that will determine what are the contents that are uh, there in the image on the basis of which prediction is done so this is the power of deep learning that already certain algorithms exist and we can use it as a scratch and then we can ha have our own model then the next widget i had put in is the test and score now i'll connect image embedding that is the feature space that is i had obtained to the test and score now what will be my output output will be auc that is uh, accuracy then is area under curve then is classification accuracy then is f1 precision recall and mcc these are a few uh, uh, parameters that are a uh, part of evaluation contents then is uh, but here you can see that it is right now empty the contents are empty so i had put another model that is logistic regression here logistic regression also acts as an input again the test and score is run it is run up to 100 percent and after this we can get the all the statistics like area under curve 0.8 then is classification accuracy that is 0.75 f1 precision recall all the statistics are obtained now i need to find out what was the exact number of images that were correctly classified and that were wrongly classified so i'll put a confusion matrix here i'll arrange a data path from test score to confusion matrix i'll double click on confusion matrix you can see here that 7 and 8 diagonally you can see that 7 and 8 are there so 7 and 8 counts to 15 that means out of 20 15 images are correctly classified and another image is 3 and 2 these are wrongly classified so i need to identify or i need to see what images are rightly classified and what images are wrongly classified so for this i had put a widget that is image viewer now i'll drag a path from confusion matrix to image viewer for the selected images and the images that I had selected is the correctly classified. So these are the 15 images that are correctly classified. That is cat is rightly classified as cat and dog is rightly classified as dog. Similarly, if I need to see that what are wrongly classified. So these are the three images that are wrongly classified. These are classified to be dog, although they were cat. Similarly, the two images that are wrongly classified. These are the two images. These are uh, uh, dog but they are wrongly classified as cat so this is how we can do the classification of all the images by without writing even a single bit of code by using orange software so this was all about cnn uh, if you got some knowledge out of this video then do like comment share and subscribe and thanks for watching